Hello and thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to explain the meaning behind perfect balance, how to balance your tripod head, and how to read one of our counterbalance charts. Today we'll be using the Shotoku SX200 100mm ball head, featuring Shotoku True Balance technology and a unique reference indicator. So what is perfect balance and why is it useful? To understand this, let's first think about what a unbalanced tripod is, or a tripod that does not have this feature. Such a tripod would need constant attention, making sure that you always engage the tilt brake to make sure your kit doesn't fall to the floor. You'll also have to constantly engage and disengage it every time you want to move the tripod, causing some jitters. A balanced tripod allows us to disengage the tilt brake, tilt, and then completely let go knowing that the camera will stay perfectly in place. That's a pretty cool feature. Now, a perfectly balanced tripod means that we can take any kit weight within its counterbalance range and balance it perfectly or precisely to a pinpoint for that weight. This is markedly different from a step system which has gaps in its counterbalance settings. There are several mechanisms which exist to create perfect balance. This head in particular uses carefully engineered interadjustable springs to create a seamless range of possible counterforce. This feature is extremely useful for long shoots, jitter reduction, and precise control because you're not constantly fighting with the weight of the camera. Correctly balancing your tripod head comes down to two easy steps. The first step is to evenly distribute the weight of your kit above your tripod head. And the second step is to apply counterforce. It's important to evenly distribute the weight of your kit above your tripod head because your tripod head applies counterforce evenly both forward and backward. Therefore, if it's too far forward and you adjust for that too far forward, it will actually spring back when you decide to tilt backwards or up. Let's get started. First, I want to evenly distribute the weight of my kit above my tripod head. I kind of already know that when I hold my camera, right about here is the center. But I need to take into account this here and my pan bar as well. That kind of shifts the center back a little bit, meaning I kind of want to shift my whole kit weight forward a little bit. Let's see where we are right now. To do that, I will hold on to the pan bar and unlock the tilt brake. And then kind of let go of the pan bar a little bit. Doing so, I can see that it falls forward. This is clear to me that I'm too far forward. So I will unlock the camera plate lock and slide my kit backwards. Locking the, pan, the camera plate lock and then unlocking the tilt brake again. Okay, let's see what happens. And in here it starts to fall backwards, meaning I'm too far backwards. So I will push that forward to about here and try again. Okay, when your kit neither falls forward nor falls backwards, that means it's pretty much center. One trick to see if you're pretty much on target is to then tilt forward a little bit and let go. Then tilt backward at about the same angle that you tilted forward and let go. Does it fall at the same rate? Mine didn't. Mine actually fell a little bit faster when I tilted it back. In that case, I'll shift forward just a little bit. That ought to do it. And try again. Okay. All right. That's pretty much center. Next, let's set counterbalance. To set counterbalance, first we want to ascertain if we have too much or too little counterbalance. To do this, I will unlock the tilt brake, tilt forward a bit, and then let go. If it falls forward, we have too little counterbalance. If it springs up, we have too much counterbalance. In my case, it started falling forward. So what I want to do is twist the true balance counterbalance knob clockwise and try again. Okay, it continues to fall forward a little bit, so I'll twist it a couple more times. 
and try again. Okay. When your kit no longer falls forward or springs back in either direction, you've now perfectly balanced your tripod head. And with practice, a simple glance at the indicator should be enough to tell if your head is pretty much near balance to begin with and save you time in the field. One note, always double check your balance. Any changes in the distribution of weight to your kit, such as adding an accessory or even an extra battery, will cause a shift in the distribution of weight over your tripod and require readjusting. A perfectly balanced head is a joy to operate and most Shotoku heads feature perfect balance mechanisms. An easy way to tell if a head like this one can balance your kit is by referencing a counterbalance chart like this one. To understand this chart, we need to know the height of the center of gravity of our kit as well as its total weight. An ENG style camera like the one we're using today typically has a center of gravity around 125 millimeters or five inches. We also know that the total weight of our kit is about nine kilograms. Using this information, we can tell with reasonable confidence our kit can be perfectly balanced on an SX200 head. And there you have it. If you have any questions about balancing your tripod, proper equipment maintenance, or are interested in purchasing a system, visit our website at shotoku.tv where you can reach out to us directly or find information about one of our official dealers near you.